so they absolutely love it but the pictures are really good they really sell the product i'm going to lie way more than the first collaboration between jake and Noah. i feel like he's maybe a little bit more comfortable in what he wants to do and obviously having jason do maybe work work alongside him him being like a fairly older dude now would make a lot of sense to to inform what kind of goes on in the future but so far so good from them i do like it way better than the first collection i ever saw on the j crew but now i think it's heading in the right direction i'm heading into the right direction what else we have here ba, 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 ba. I think that might be it for now, you know. Yeah, I think that might be it, unfortunately. It's not much else news to kind of cover. Oh, yeah, let's cover this. So this actually, the last bit to cover is this courtesy of Stray Rats. So Stray Rats are putting out a New Balance MT580, which to me kind of brings back a lot of good memories of kind of being on Crooked Tongues Forum, being on FUK Forum, being on Fifth Dimension Forum and hanging out and doing that business. And the core cool kind of um, part about this story is also that I'm familiar with flipping, what's his name? with um, Iron Coops from the forum days you know that's when I kind of knew him I don't really speak to him now I don't really know him too tough now at the moment to call a friend or anything but we were definitely friendly I would say back in the day when we used to be posting pictures of our fits on forums like fuk.co.uk fifth dimension you know fuck all those wankers on there they were absolute pricks but still we used to use that page we'd use um, what else would you use sometimes we use super future as well so it's pretty cool that he went back into the archive and pulled the model that isn't the most popular model now amongst any be kind of fanboys who are maybe the most tasteless fanboys out there they don't really have any taste they just buy whatever comes out and is limited jam puts out another green gray cream flipping new balance and they kind of all lap it up because it's got jam written on the back of the hill tab but no real interesting color so at least when it comes to um stray rats new balance collaborations they've got a few here on the bed they're all really cool colorways they're all trying to push the envelope trying to challenge the consumer quote unquote as they say in fashion a lot which is really cringe but they just look really cool and interesting that's just basically it and i like the pictures harken back to that era back in the day where sneakerheads would stand next to their boxes of shoes that they actually own not resale pages i think that's really weird i think nowadays like there's not really a lot of kind of culture of people actually buying cool shoes that they like and trying to make them pop it's just a lot of me mr me twos a lot of jordan ones buying a lot of random easy buying a lot of flipping Sal salili Bembry flipping crocs buying like no one's really being innovative or no one's kind of pushing the envelope a little bit they're all just doing the same thing again and again and again and um i hate it but these pictures are fucking awesome i'm not going to lie the laces in these shoes are really thick and awesome in it they look like they're waxed okay they're not they're just a bit thicker um laces uh, they look like they will drop awesome and they look at like it a little bit short as well they're not extra long so they don't you have to kind of snip them or anything which is always an annoying thing to do because when you snip them you basically kill the laces but i like that i like that look overall they've got another picture here that kind of harkens back to that era of somebody placing all their shoes on stairs and stuff that was something you saw you saw where maybe someone had a collection of air max ones um from all the it, the years that they come out from 87 onwards every iteration and have them all lined up so you can see the difference in the shape the bubble the form everything is pretty cool so that's really nice to see and of course your obligatory picture of all the shoes kind of covering you on the couch and stuff and you flossing and that iconic picture of that sneakerhead back in the day who put his shoes on ice inside the fridge as well to kind of help them and also be a bit of a troll online the pictures in the mirror all these things remind me of stuff from back in the day when i used to be on forums and it's absolutely cool i'm not going to say really cool but the funny interesting thing is that this stuff is still sitting on the website i'm not sure if it's because of stray rats not being the most super popular brand in the world and maybe you know iron coops doing his business a certain kind of way but i'm just shocked that these shoes are absolutely sitting on here and i've checked already before but let me go back to the main page and see if i'm mistaken and things have maybe changed but they're sitting and there's a full size run but for someone like myself that actually wants a pair to wear i'm not that bothered um there's no sold out tag next to them and they're only for some reason which is wild they're only 150. i don't know if that's a price that they're allow you're allowed to set as a brand where you do a collaboration or if this is something like new balance do internally because why can this be 150 but the jam ones are always like 200 plus you know that doesn't make any sense like what's the what's the problem there is it because that model that he's making is harder to manufacture this maybe is easy i'm not really too sure but considering the complex colors and all that malarkey and different materials you'd think this would be a lot harder to do than another new balance 998 or whatever it is right or 990 991 but for whatever reason it is just the way it is but i've always liked these um they, again they kind of remind me of these uh mad hectic stussy new balance mt 
580s that I had back in the day that I still to this day regret selling. I'm pretty sure I had this pair here in pink with the pink suede and the metal. So the pink suede and a sort of like mesh metal sort of thing on the toe box that looks pretty cool. Um, and again, I really regret selling these. They're one of my favorite pairs of shoes, but for some reason, I guess I kind of try to downside my collection and sell them. Another thing to note, again, this has definitely been set up by an actual sneakerhead. Look at the laces. I always mention how I like laces to be a certain way where the, the lace that goes out on this this side of the right hand side is always over and the ones that go out that side are always going you know over on the left hand side and of course obviously sneak ahead kind of did it all the way to the top so that's pretty cool to see the only thing i don't like is this last lace it doesn't go underneath it should go over all the time to keep the tongue there and never go through that tongue eyelid thing either that's pretty lame but overall um big fan of those flipping um mt 580s and some nice press shots here as well or pr shots that look similar to back in the day when people used to post pictures of the shoes and the weird angles and shit the only thing they're missing is maybe a pin roll picture but i guess because no one wears new balance for mt 580s on with fucking pin rolls it probably doesn't make that much sense but um i do like them i can't wait to purchase a pair myself and wear them into the absolute ground and i'm just shocked and appalled that they're still sitting there considering all the other basic bitch fucking new balances that exist out there but hey i guess it is what it is um if you want to purchase it you can as you can see the banner free world without shipping and um free us shipping over 100 dollars, which is sick but yeah 